leadership is everywhere you look, and leaders come in all types and move us all forward every day. We know that MS doesn't discriminate, and all too often, young people must address the unpredictable challenges that MS brings to them directly or to someone they love and care about. Imagine your mom is diagnosed with MS while you're growing up, and then your best college friend is diagnosed. If you're like our next guest, the result is determination to take action. Please help us welcome the Society's youngest trustee and fundraiser extraordinaire, Krista Colby. Thank you so much for that kind introduction. I'm so grateful to be here with you today. As I look around the room and see so many faces, many familiar and many new, I think about how many stories are surrounding us right now. My story begins before I was born, with my parents participating in a bike MS ride. They didn't know anyone with MS or even what MS was. They just loved to cycle. A year later, my parents had their first child, me, and life was wonderful. Until the day after my first Christmas, when my mom's entire left side of her body went numb. The doctor told her, you have multiple sclerosis. Even though MS stole my mom's ability to ride a bike, bike MS became our family's tradition. My dad was the one who cycled and fundraised, and my mom found her niche at the finish line. Sometimes, I'd ride a few miles on the back of my dad's bike, but most of the time, I'd be at the finish line with my mom. My mom used noisemakers to entertain me, and we'd cheer for the cyclists together. When my father passed away, I couldn't let our newfound tradition end. So at nine years old, I rode 100 miles on my bike for my mom and in memory of my dad. And without fail, as I crossed that finish line, there was my mom with her noisemakers. And it's been like that for the past 12 years. But now, I hold a different title. Board of Trustees member of the New Jersey Metro Chapter. It was after a Bike MS event. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was after a Bike MS event that the chapter president, Jim Roberts, told me he'd been speaking with the chairman of the board, Mike Gibney, about my future with the society. Soon after, at 20 years old, I became the youngest board member this society has ever had. Working side by side with CEOs, nonprofit leaders, and doctors can be overwhelming, but I know my perspective is important. I feel my job is to first listen, but also question what is happening. I'm passionate about sharing my perspectives of young people affected by MS. Leah Bank, my best friend, was diagnosed when she was 18 years old. There are services for children with MS and for adults with MS, but what about those in between? What can we do to spark the interest in college students to join the medical field or become the next generation of MS researchers? How can we help young people living with MS or caring for others with MS? These are questions I'm addressing as a board member. When I traveled to London last semester, I volunteered with the MS Society in the UK. I learned to appreciate just how much we have to offer with those people with MS. Many people around the world are not as fortunate. I've learned from speaking with the CEO of the MS International Federation that we must share our knowledge globally if we hope to end MS forever. To reach that goal, we must recognize our roles as leaders in this movement. My family is now involved beyond Bike MS. Lee and I founded the MS Movement, MS Youth Movement, a program, affected, a program to support youth affected by MS. My mom has made great strides in the MS Champions Program connecting people with MS to event participants. As I look out at all the passionate volunteers in this room, I know your story is what brought you here. Share your story with anyone who will listen. But remember, you're still writing it. It isn't finished. This is our movement, and it depends on our leadership. Thank you.